Hi, welcome to Morning Afterglow. Well, today we're talking about Revelation chapter 12, which is a, a beginning of a new section that covers chapters 12, 13, and 14, which focuses on the human experiences of God's people during the time in which evil is growing in power in the world and is attacking and afflicting God's people. And in chapter 12, we see the heart of that. It's sort of the core of that because it talks about this evil power being Satan. And it's described as satanic. Uh, he's called a dragon there. Uh, but he's the evil one and he's Satan and he hates God's people. Uh, the chapter starts off with him attacking and trying to destroy the child that a woman gives birth to. And we think that is Israel who gives birth to the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And then Satan tries to gobble the child up, which of course he cannot do because God protects, God the Father protects uh, the Messiah, his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And then the chapter describes this, that this conflict on earth is, is not just about earth, but actually it's a cosmic conflict. Uh, it brings in angels, Michael and his angels in conflict with Satan and his fallen angels with, with, who are now demons. And this, this cosmic conflict. And now the conflict is centered on earth because Satan has been kicked out of heaven and that conflict is no longer going on. And so the conflict of Satan attacking God's people and then that wonderful passage of Scripture in chapter 12 in which uh, God says, the people of God who are attacked by Satan overcome Satan. We're victors. We're conquerors uh, because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of our testimony. And we do that because we did not love our lives even unto, unto death. Now, I think the thing I really want to punch today with you is that we need to remember that the Christian life involves, on this earth, in a fallen dimension, spiritual warfare. Uh, nobody's going to avoid it. You and I, as God's people, are going to be attacked by Satan. We're going to have warfare most days. Uh, some days not as bad as other days, but we're going to experience spiritual warfare. The Bible says Satan is like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour, and we're to resist Him, putting on the armor of God uh, to be strong against Him. I want to encourage you today to realize that you can win that battle. You can put on the armor of God, and in the strength of the Lord, in the grace of the Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit, you can resist the evil one. Now, He's strong. And uh, he catches us in weak moments, doesn't he? He does me. I'm sure he does you. And sometimes we don't do well and we fail and we fall. Uh, but we just get back up and keep trying again and again and again. And I want to encourage you to keep trying. Don't give up. Uh, Satan is a defeated foe. Jesus Christ won the victory at the cross. And in his new life coming out of the tomb, um, Jesus Christ is the Lord of life and the Lord of all. Relax, work hard, follow the Lord, be a good disciple of Jesus, and use His strength to fight the evil one. I'm praying for you that you'll do that. I hope you're praying for me as well in the same way. Well, it's been a good time being together, and I pray that God will continue to walk with you this week. Uh, as you live day by day by day, look to Him, trust in Him, rest in His strength, and obey the Lord. God bless you. Till next time on Morning Afterglow.